Hi everyone and welcome to our science curriculum video. I'm Miss Kelsey and I'm the Head of Science at James Finder School. This curriculum video will aim to introduce you to our science leadership team, give you a general overview of our curriculum, home learning activities that can support our learners at home um, and ensure they can make effective progress, and our assessment strategies that will allow learners to identify what they need to work on and create aims for their next steps. Within our science team, we have a range of specialists within chemistry, physics and biology that are led by our heads of subject. So we have Miss Teresa, our head of biology, Miss Louise, our head of chemistry and Mr Sammy, our head of physics. For our IGCSE qualifications, we use the Oxford AQA specifications that are available and can be reviewed on the Oxford AQA website. All learners should be actively engaging with their course specifications to ensure they are really clear on what topics they're going to be taught and what the exam board is expecting them to know in order to prepare for the assessment. So yep, they are available in PDF form on the Oxford AQA website. Our IGCSE courses are completed over two years where we cover different topics throughout year 10 and then into year 11, including a range of required practicals where learners will carry out an experiment, evaluate it, process results, come up with conclusions um, that then can be assessed theoretically in their end of year exams. This two year course is built upon, so a lot of topics from year 10 are then used throughout year 11 um, to explain things that we see in different aspects of the three sciences. At the start of each topic, learners will also receive a success criteria page, which adapts aspects from the course specifications to distinctive success criteria that learners can assess themselves against at the beginning of the topic, as they may have explored some of these areas previously throughout Key Stage 3, and then at the end of the topic. This will allow them to identify the main areas of the course that they are finding challenging, and this is where they can wait their revision when it comes to preparing for mock exams and the real exams. So these success criteria pages are extremely important throughout our IGCSE courses and will be referred to regularly at the beginning and the end of the different topics that we complete throughout the two-year course. On to our home learning. In science, we have created a revision timetable for all learners to use to consolidate their learning and create effective revision material in preparation for their end of year exams at the end of year 11. This timetable sets out each week what our learners should be creating their revision materials on from the textbook. They should make their revision material and then assess how effective their revision has been by completing and assessing the summary questions in the textbook. This home learning really helps our learners to feel well prepared for their end of year exa exams, as they are consolidating what they are learning in class and creating effective revision materials that are tailored to their own learning styles. This also ensures that they don't leave all of their revision to the last minute just before their exams. Along with the textbook, lesson notes and resources that are shared through Classroom Phoenix, we also have a range of websites that we suggest to support IGCSE revision at home. So for example, we have Cognito and Fuse School that create effective and clear videos for a range of topics across the three sciences for IGCSE. We have BBC Bite Size that has web links that you can read the information and complete small multiple choice test bites to assess understanding of the content that has been revised. And then we have Physics and Math Tutor that has a range of topic by topic exam style questions with marking instructions that can allow learners to assess their progress with particular topics against exam standard. Physics and Math Tutor also allows learners an opportunity to engage with marking instructions regularly and can become more familiar with the expectations of the exams in relation to the course specifications and what they've learned in lessons. So these additional resources are an excellent way for learners to engage with a range of different materials, so videos, web pages, test bites, exam style questions, so that they can really vary 
their revision techniques at home um, and then we can use those as we prepare for assessments um, whether it's mocks, um, end of topic retrieval or our end of year exams. Within Key Stage 4, learners will have the opportunity to assess their progress in that specific topic by completing a set of end of topic retrieval practice questions. These questions will be in the style of Oxford AQA exam style questions to give learners the opportunity to see the style of questions, how it should be interpreted and how they can apply their learning to get marks for those specific style of questions. These will be completed under exam conditions to give learners a chance to see what it's like to work in those conditions and also work under those time constraints of an exam. After completion, learners will give them the opportunity to reflect on their work and complete the fit book marking sheet. This records their what went well, so areas of strength, their EBI, areas of development, and also an opportunity to reflect on the HPL skills that they've developed for that topic. So it could be that they've shown extensive collaboration um, an ability to link their learning um, to new scenarios um, an ability to show precisely how we would carry out an experiment in those questions. This is extremely important that learners really actively engage with this feedback and reflection process because this will really inform their next steps and the areas that they're going to have to focus on as they prepare for mock exams and the real examinations. It's also an opportunity for you to see where your child needs to improve and you can really have those open discussions about what they can do, where to focus their revision, etc. as we prepare for the final exams. Thanks for listening um, to this curriculum video. If you do have any questions, please feel free to direct your questions to the subject leads that were discussed at the beginning of the session. We're always willing to provide additional information and direct you to supportive resources um, if you need any further information.